All right, here are the symptoms of the action bracket, and this is actually the first Wurlitzer I've seen. Basically, the hammers check on the strings, and that's it. That's a uh, that's what happens. Sometimes you can tell because it's happening in the entire piano. And that's really, if it was just happening here, you might be able to regulate the middle of the piano or assume something happened. But this is across the board. This is um, looking inside. There is still just a little bit of let off and drop here. I mean, the regulation isn't completely messed up, but the action spread is wrong. And also, let me see the silver brackets. The silver in the brackets. And that is. How you begin to know the problem is the action bracket swelling. Okay, another way to test to see if action spread is the problem is just measure the action spread. And uh, this is supposed to be 112.5, and uh, we this action is spread to over 116 millimeters. So uh, 116, 117 millimeters. So this this is a huge spread from 112.5 to the spread going to 117 millimeters and this uh, and I began the action replacement on this, this alright so I'm taking the middle brackets off and on this piano uh, actually this bracket is cracked completely cracked off I mean so the spread has really done a deal here this bracket was completely cracked and uh, this one's intact, but those are going to come out. Those are going to come out. Okay, so I found that these uh, little brass screws, they are um, eight, number eight by one and a quarter. They seem to really do a, a good job replacing the screws that go in here. There's, the brackets are bigger, so you need a longer screw. So I found uh, documenting eight, number eight, one and a quarter inch. Okay, so here's an updated version. Last time I was using a ruler, I found this uh, tool here and I can set my spread and then I can just reach down like this and just check the center pin spread. So this is actually my grandfather's tool. Used it to do woodworking. And uh, the little dial here changes the length here and then I just measure to my 112.5. 0.5 millimeters on my ruler on the disc and then I can go through the whole action checking the spread of the whole action just like that. Okay now that I've changed these brackets this action had quite, this is a Wurlitzer, it had quite a problem and you can see I'm uh, almost finished with the hammer line but this piano, the hammer line on, especially in the high treble was raised this much and you can see just how high it was off the rest rail that's too high so I have um, started putting it down setting my blow distance um, this high hammer line also caused the jacks to be out of alignment and once I finish the hammer line I'll decide whether to move the jacks but this is um, quite a bit of height uh, that the hammer line was thrown up so this is doesn't always happen but it did this time